Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, Vector3 and how to use C-Frame. Now, you might think these are the same, but they're actually pretty different. So, yeah, before this video gets started, I just want to say thank you for 200 subscribers and, yeah, anyway, let's just get into the video. So, what is the difference between a Vector3 and a C-Frame? Well, a vector 3 is pretty much a value that has, it's pretty much a value that has three values, or an x, y, and z. It's pretty much an x, y, and z value. You can use it for position, you can use it for velocity, you can use it for rotation, or orientation, you can use it for size. There's a lot of properties that use vector 3, because it's 3D, so... Yeah, so vector 3 is not always position, it can be size and stuff. So, okay, so, and now what is C-frame? Well, C-frame is pretty much a, I guess it's a combination of position and rotation, but they're combined together, so, and there's uh, more, there's more C-frame functions than vector 3. So, yeah, so... If I would uh, use position, but, okay, so if I would change position and I'll change the Y coordinate or the Y part of the vector 3, um, we can change it. Yeah, and it's pretty clear that the vector 3 is called that because it has an X, Y, and Z. So let's just, okay, so yeah, you can change size with vector 3. I think you get the idea with vector 3. And we can, let's head to C frame. Okay, so C frame we can, yeah. So C frame uh, comes a little bit different. So C frame is mainly for position and rotation, like I said. So let's say we want to rotate this. We can let me show you a bunch of C frame functions, I guess. So you've probably seen this already. It's like a spinning part. So we can just do, we can just do while wait do so, and we can do script dot pant dot c frame which is a property you don't see it in the properties tab but it's a built it's a built-in property that changes depending on uh, the part so let's we can change the position I guess like so let's change the the yeah the rotation so the c frame will always be the, uh, what this is so so this is the c frame Okay, and we can just do script.parent.c frame times c frame dot angles or something like that. So the reason why we don't we use a uh, the reason why we use I think it's called an asterisk or this is a multiply and code I guess. So the reason why we use this instead. Uh, this is because you can't add C frame, you have to multiply it, I guess. It's kind of confusing, but uh, you get used to it pretty quick. So, okay, so angles is pretty much changes the angle. So we can just do 0, 90, 0, I guess. Or we can do, okay, so I I was about to make m this mistake, so, but the one difference between you changing the orientation using vector 3 and changing the orientation between C frame is that C frame you have to uh, in order to get like the exact angle this is not equivalent to 90 degrees this is like something else like I don't I honestly don't know what this, uh, what one equals I think it's like 360 degrees but what we if we use math.rad um, it will convert it into the actual angle so this is not 90 degrees but this is 90 degrees like that this is 90 degrees as you can see so okay so if we would t actually let's do okay yeah okay let's see try, let's try this so the reason why it's doing that is because every 0 0.1 seconds it's gonna spin 90 degrees now when, okay so what it's actually doing is that it's rotating by 90 degrees every millisecond and that's what hap that's what's happening here so if we just slow down you can see what's happening let's actually change
change the let's actually change the rotation that way we can clearly see, um more clearly see it okay it's changing the rotation just like that and most people for this stuff like they usually use i guess they use from earlier angles xyz which is pretty much I think it's said I think it's equivalent to C frame dot angles, but it says it creates a rotated C frame using angles. I guess um, I usually do that for rotation. Um, so yeah, if you do not want to, what you can do is you can probably uh, so if you do not if you want to be a certain C frame, then you can do C frame dot angles. Okay, so we can do that. Math dot red. Oh, 90. So maybe that might work. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so let's let's actually. Okay, so we can change. Let's change the angle a bit. Okay. So the reason why. Okay, so it's changing the angle, but. The, yeah, but you might be wondering why is it go uh, going to with the center? Well, that's because we haven't, uh, we haven't get, we have, we don't have enough information to tell it that which area, it, which position. So, yeah, so we can just do C frame dot new, which changes the position. So this time you don't use math radical because you're not doing dealing with angles with C frame dot new. So C frame dot new, you can even inside this you just put the position like you can do let's just do 20 10 and then do 5 okay so let's see if it goes to the center and as you can see it's not in the center so uh, this is pretty much like this way it acts like a vector 3 you can even put in a vector 3 in here okay you can just do you can probably do that. Let's just change that. Okay, so now, yeah, it still works. But here's a one. Here's another cool thing about C frame that I don't think uh, a lot of people know. But if you have two values inside a C frame dot new, it will. What it will do is, it will go to the first uh, value. Or here, let me just show you. Okay, so let's just say we have um, part one, and we have part two, and let's say you want part one to point to part two. So you can just do script parent meaning part one, and you can just do game dot workspace dot part part two. So what this will do is this: in this first column, it will go to the position of part one, which is this, which is this, and in the second. For the second column, and the, uh, the position it's going to go to the first column, the position, and then it's going to point to the other. Uh, it's going to point. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, so my mistake. So in order to do this, we gotta have you gotta have vector three. It has to be position. And as you can see, it's pointing to here. It doesn't look like it, but that's but it actually is. As you can see, it's because it's um it's because it, the size it does not match up to here. I guess let's just change the size. So yeah, then that point. As you can see, it's actually pointing to the center of this part. That's a cool thing about C frame. And there's a built-in function for models called set primary part C frame. You probably heard about this, but let's just do that. So let's just make this a model. Okay, so okay, so we can. So what set primary part C frame is is. So another way you can do this is uh, there's a. So there's a vector three function and a C frame function that does the same thing. One's move to and one's set part. primary part C frame. I know I know I'm repeating myself. This is the first time I'm recording. So, anyways, okay, I say that a lot. So in order for 
So in move two, you don't have to have a primary part. It will just move to, I think it moves, moves to the center with the model and to uh, the position. But what set primary part C frame does is you have to have a primary part. Let's say it's this primary part. Let's just call it this part, okay? So it will automatically, this will be the primary part. It, it shows like a outline of the primary part. And it, instead of the center of the model, it will do the center, the, where it's going to move to. This mod, it's going to, everything's going to move with the primary part. And the primary part is going to be the one changing the position, I guess. Here, let me just show you. So it's actually, okay. Yeah, I know I'm taking pretty long, but okay. So let's say we want to move there. So let's just do okay. So let's start with move to. So game that workspace dot model. Move to, and we all all we need to put in here is the position. So we can just do game. Okay, we can just do game dot workspace dot part. Okay, so if you were to do that, this is what would happen. Okay, I made the mistake again. I keep doing this mistake. Yeah, this is a this is a mistake that can be easily. Um, yeah, you can easily fall for this mistake. Okay, so I think wait on. I don't know why I did that, but let's just. Okay, then let me test it again. Okay, so I guess what I guess I was wrong about move to. I think it just moved a part to here. But the problem with move to is that uh, when you use move to, it might stack on top of it, and that stuff like you know when you spawn when you add a spawn location, but the roof is too close to the spawn location, so you spawn at the roof. And that's pro that's the problem with move two. I think if you have a primary part, then it will, it will move to the uh, it will go like set primary part C frame with this, I guess. But yeah, um, but if we use uh, set primary part C frame, which we need our primary part, then we can just do the same thing. So again, that workspace dot part. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me check something. Let me check the. Okay, so. Instead of position, you gotta use C frame. Okay, so yeah, you can add in a new C frame, and as you can see, it uh, it didn't stack on top of it. What it actually did is it uh, moved directly to it. So th no, that's a big difference between move to and separate part C frame. Okay, so I think that's all I need to show you. There's Obviously, more things about C frame and vector 3, but that's just a couple of things that you might or you need to know about vector 3 and C frame. That's pretty much the difference. This was supposed to be telling you what the difference between it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry if I was a little slow, but yeah, like I said, usually I usually say this, but it's the first time recording, but yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys later. Bye.